So this is my first and probably last and only update from Rochester. I just wanted to give everybody a little idea of what's um, <clears throat> been going on the last week or so. So I had the neurology consultation on Monday and uh, had that and I was given basically an itinerary of appointments to stand in for um, to see if I could get in earlier and there were a lot of gaps in the schedule. And so I was like, okay, that's fine. So Monday, I had um, the blood work and um, some other tests. And then I went and stood in for um, the behavioral neurology department, which is the department I'm really trying to get into the most. And um, so I waited all day Tuesday for that. And so Wednesday, I had the MRI. It was around noon. And so before and after, I waited in in for behavioral neurology and then yesterday I had the EEG and again before and after I waited for behavioral neurology because that's the, the department that deals most with memory loss and any kind of cognitive issues whatsoever um, today I came for um, endocrinology had a quick appointment there at like 915 and then waited again it started at noon for behavioral neurology well, a few hours after waiting for that, I was told that before the behavioral neurologist would see me, and keep in mind there's only five, maybe four today, um, that I would, first of all, have to have a repeat neuropsych testing, which I've already had, and it was obviously a, a horrible thing to go through, um, but they wouldn't see me until then. So that, you know, obviously poses a huge problem, because... I, I would again have to stand by next week for the neuropsych testing and by the time I actually got to behavioral neurology it would be into the next week so I sort of feel like I've wasted my time a little bit um, the MRI came back not normal the cerebellum which is the back part of the brain that controls movement and other cognitive function is, has shrunk even more since last September which is obviously a major problem. Obviously, they didn't think it was. Um, let's see. Um, the EEG apparently turned out normal, as far as I can tell. And there's a few other blood tests here and there that were um, a little bit impaired. But again, you can only wait so long in one place. So it look, looks like I'll be having to return um, probably in mid July to finally get into behavioral neurology again. I wish I had more to come home with, but uh, that's all I have for now. Thanks for staying tuned.